Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Please stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what is going on for today? Today I am bringing to you denim farmhouse DIYs. I am so excited about these DIYs because they were DIYs that I honestly came up with in my sleep the other day. And when I woke up, I was so excited to do them that I didn't waste any time. I had a bunch of leftover denim because I took and cut all of Allie's jeans and made them shorts because over the last five months, Allie has grown almost three stinking inches. I can hardly believe it, but when she puts her pants on, you can definitely tell. These were pants that I just bought her at Christmas time. So I decided that I was gonna cut them up and make shorts for her for this summer. These are the jeans that I made shorts. Look at how stinking cute these are with the thick stitching and the adorable pockets. And so just by cutting off the legs of them, I made her some really cute shorts that are probably gonna fit her for another couple years now. And so I did that with about five or six of her jeans. These were another pair that were just way too short on her and fit her perfectly. So that left me with all these legs of pants that were just super cute and I just thought to myself, self, what can you do with these besides throw them away? They are denim and denim is pretty farmhousey and it's really in right now and you can definitely use denim for DIYs. And so I knew I wasn't gonna throw these away and after sleeping on it, I came up with some amazing, easy to do DIYs using denim. And so I have got all different colors of denim, which is always fun to mix your denims together. I can hardly wait to share these DIYs with you and I'll be doing it over a couple of videos. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for today's farmhouse denim DIY. I love this one. For this denim DIY, I picked up this six pack of posters from Joann's for a dollar. I'll also be using some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain, some matted Mod Posh, some twine, and these pearls by Jot that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'll also be using the leftover denim from Allie's Jeans. I'm gonna start off by taking the pant leg of Allie's Jeans and I'm just gonna cut them right up the seam here on the side. Because they are such small jeans and there's not a lot of denim, I wanna try and utilize as much of this denim as I can because I don't wanna throw it away. Then I'm gonna take my coasters that I picked up from Joann's. I picked up two six packs giving me 12 coasters and I'm gonna trace them on the back of the jeans. I've got four different colors of denim. So I'm gonna use all four colors, just kind of mix and match and I'm gonna cut out enough to cover all 12 coasters. I'm gonna use Mod Podge to adhere the denim onto the coasters. You can use matte Mod Podge, gloss Mod Podge. I had matte on hand, so that's what I'm using. And I am going to be generous with the Mod Podge on these coasters. Because the denim is a heavier fabric, it'll absorb some of the Mod Podge. So you wanna be generous with the amount that you put on each of your coasters. And because your denim will stretch a bit, when you place it on your coasters with the Mod Podge, I'm gonna take my scissors and just snip off the excess fabric so I have some nice clean edges. And I gotta say, I am loving the color variation of the different denims. This is going to add to the character of this piece. Now let's make a cross out of these denim coasters. I'm gonna assort them in a way that they're mismatched on some of the coasters, I left the frayed edges because I thought that it would add some character to it. I didn't want all my edges to be clean and cut. I wanted them different colors of denim. I wanted some with frayed edges, some with clean edges. And so I think that that'll just kind of add to it.
and I thought that this could use a twine flower. So I'm going to take my twine, wrap it around my four fingers. And this is one of the easiest flowers you can make out of twine. And I'm just gonna wrap it around until I have the thickness that I want. And tie it off in the middle. And I'm gonna do this three times. cut the ends of the twine to open it up so they're not loops to give this flower a more shabby chic feel to it. Then I'm going to take and just hot glue each of these bundles right on top of each other, offsetting them just a bit. And to finish this flower off, I'll be taking my pearls by Jot that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and just hot gluing them right in the middle of this flower. And there we have a simple, easy to do, shabby chic twine flower that I'll be hot gluing to the center of my cross. Then using some of Tim Holtz Walnut Stain Distress Ink, I'm gonna distress this cross a bit. If you wanna be done with it, you can be. If you like that nice, clean, crisp look on the denim, go for it. I like that aged, dirty, distressed look. I feel like it gives it more of a farmhouse look. I'll be using this metal picture hanger that I got in a kit from the Dollar Tree that I found in the tool section, and I'm just gonna hot glue it onto the back of my cross. I'm using this metal picture hanger versus maybe a piece of twine because I want my cross to set flush up against the wall. By using a piece of twine, it'll cause it to lean forward a bit. And there you have it. Let's go hang this up and see how it looks. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this farmhouse denim cross. I love, love, love the way this cross turned out and I think it is such a fun piece to add to the decor of my home. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this DIY to a thousand likes. And if it gets to a thousand likes, I will definitely be bringing you another farmhouse denim DIY sooner than later. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.